Hello everyone, as discussed in my previous video, we will start with individual primitive reflex and the treatment strategy for integration of that primitive reflex. Today we will discuss Morose reflex. Morose reflex is also known as a starter reflex. Now what happens in Morose reflex or how we can check a Morose reflex? When uh, you are uh, not able to support a baby and a baby is in a sudden falling situation, if that even their head is in falling situation or if there is sudden noise, uh, suddenly a phone rings or a bell rings out there, that a baby will automatically will be put in a fight or flight situation. In this situation, there will be sudden throwing out of baby's upper limb and lower limb like this and gradually followed by curling of this upper limbs back as if baby is embracing itself. So again I repeat what will happen if there is a sudden sound baby will throw out the limbs out like this and then gradually it will come back. Now this reflex is present up till two to four months. If this reflex is not suppressed beyond four months of age then child will always remain in fight or flight situation which will increase load on its adrenal glands and it will hamper social and learning development. How it will hamper social and learning development? These kids are hypersensitive to other sensory stimulus which in turn will make them anxious, will make uh, their uh, academic performance lower even they won't be able to focus on certain things for a longer duration of time they will be in anxiety and this will in turn hamper the social and learning behavior now I will show you the exercise which will help in suppressing this modus reflex now watch carefully and this reflex the starting position of the child will be neck in extension child should look up both the hands are outwards both the legs are outwards and then gradually together with the neck flexion that is chin tuck child will take both the limbs that is right hand on left hand and right leg on left leg and the chin is tucked like this then again both the limbs outward neck extended and repeat on opposite side that is chin tuck, neck flexion, left hand on right hand and left leg on right leg. Now this exercise seems to be very easy but I would like you all to practice this exercise because a common mistake many of us will make is while coming back we will go like this that is left hand on right hand and right leg that is opposite leg opposite to upper leg, right leg on left leg which is wrong. It, the ideal way is left upper limb and lower limb on left on right upper limb and lower limb. Okay but remember it should go like this from starting to end position and then on opposite side. So one needs a lot of concentration to break this reflex. A lot of practice will be required to develop newer connection and to suppress this primitive reflex. So this exercise needs to be practiced at least 10 times during one session and should be practiced up till 6 weeks to integrate Moro's reflex. Do let me know your suggestions in the comment box below and do like and subscribe if you find this videos informative. Thank you.